Our digital identity is something we all take for granted. But let's take a minute and stop and think what it might mean for us personally. Do you own a smartphone? If so, count the apps you have a login for. These might be shopping apps, games, social media, email, instant messaging or a whole range of other activities. If you don't have a smartphone, think about what you do online. Grocery shopping, buying books and clothes, email community, social media. And even if you don't have any of these, even a store loyalty card means that your information is held digitally. And beside all of this is the records that our employers, banks and services such as doctors keep about us. And if, like me, you have a presence in all of these fields, you'll soon realise that your digital identity is really significant. But where's all this information held and who owns it? Every click, every purchase, every message, every status update creates data. This data is collected and held by the companies and organisations we deal with and we give permission for this every time we tick a box and agree to the terms and conditions. Most of us don't read the terms and conditions and for most of us the collection of this data is not a dangerous thing. However, we should be aware that when we hand over our details and our data, we're trusting these companies and organisations with our security. And when our security is breached, this hits the headlines. What is less discussed is the value of this data. Let's take Facebook as an example. As an individual, I'm not especially interesting. The status updates, connections and check-ins of one middle-aged woman are not really worth much. But if you put my data together with that created by thousands of other middle-aged women, it becomes interesting to the people whose job it is to sell things to middle-aged women. Looking at the adverts I'm offered, this seems to be mostly about weight loss and anti-wrinkle cream, neither of which really interests me, but there you go. If you're from a different demographic, you'll get a different set of adverts. These are tailored for you by the data you create. In essence, this isn't dangerous, but it's something we should be aware of and make choices about. It's your data, be aware of how it's used.